one billion dollars in tax money is funding anti science religious educations. We've talked a little bit about this with the great Zach Coplin, the college student who has been doing a lot of work around teaching creationism in school. And as David Badash writes in the new civil rights movement, if you believe that God created the universe in six days and rested on the seventh, if you believe that the earth is less than 10 million years old or maybe only 6000, and if you believe evolution is a lie from the pit of hell, then you will be thrilled by this news that U.S. taxpayers are doling out a billion dollars a year to fund private Christian grade school educations that teach all of the beliefs I just mentioned as so called fact. And that billion dollars a year is increasing year after year. Taxpayers in 14 different states will bankroll about a billion dollars this year in tuition for private schools including hundreds of religious schools that teach that the earth is less than 10,000 years old, that Adam and Eve were strolling in the gardens of Eden with the dinosaurs, and that much of modern biology, geology and cosmology is simply a web of lies. There are about 250,000 students that take advantage of vouchers and tax credit scholarships, and that's just a, a small portion of the 55 million public schools in the U.S. But it is up 30 percent since 2010. So while overall this is a small portion of schools in the U.S., it's increasing significantly every single year. The sad part about this, the saddest part is that we are now at a time where scientific research and knowledge is advancing more and more rapidly, and we have better and better explanations for I guess for everything, for everything in our universe. And at the same time, we have these voucher programs which are allowing taxpayer funded teaching of non science in science classrooms. And of course, the Koch brother group, Americans for Prosperity, is a huge, huge player in the push for these voucher programs. It's it's just so sad, Lewis. And we see it reflected in the numbers. The the US is falling further and further behind when it comes to science and math preparation for students relative to other countries. Yeah, it's bad. We need to catch up. I mean, these are important things. It's, it's going to be hard to stop at the federal level and rarely is it even being stopped at the state level. It seems like uh, individual counties are the ones that have to kind of stop this, uh, this type of teaching. Right. Didn't in we see that there was a specific parish in New Orleans or something that had to at their level actually pass a, a, a vote on this? That's how granular it's gotten. Yeah, yeah, it really is. So uh, it, it's it's a really tough battle. I thought that the right was against government involvement in education. I thought the right was against redistribution of wealth. This is moving tax dollars specifically to those who are religious and want a specific type of education for their children. This is yet another form of redistribution of wealth, which supposedly the American right opposes. But as usual, the right wing actions completely run counter to the right wing words and claims about what they want. And I would actually say to them, why even bother with any of this? Michelle Bachman says you just need prayer, not education. Why not pull the kids out altogether? and just have them pray all day. Uh, I guess Michelle Bach is not the authority anymore. I, I don't know. Yeah, maybe it's not up to Michelle anymore. We've got an excellent, excellent bonus show planned for you today. And the bonus show is hosted by producer Lewis. I am the sidekick. We will talk about homeopathic products being recalled because they incorrectly contained actual active ingredients. <laughs> This is such a funny story and so much more on today's bonus show. David dot com slash membership. We'll take a break back with more right after this, including Hatriot Mail.